Once upon a time, there lived an emperor. He was so fond of new clothes that he spent all of his money on buying them. He never worried about his kingdom or people of the kingdom. He bought a different suit for each hour of the day. One day, two tricksters came to the kingdom. They said that they knew how to weave the most beautiful colors and patterns on clothes. But they said, Our clothing is very different from anything else you know of. Our clothing is invisible to anyone who is either a simpleton or who is unfit to hold their office. Finally, they were brought to the emperor. As the emperor loved to wear new pattern clothes, the emperor ordered the weavers to weave a suit for him immediately. Then, he commanded his servants to take the weavers to a large room in the palace so that he could check on them while they worked on his suit. The two weavers, who were great tricksters and did not know how to weave at all, set up two weaving looms and pretended to work very hard. After a few days, the emperor commanded his old faithful minister see what the weavers were doing. He went to the room where the tricksters were working at their empty looms. But, when he entered the room, the old man could not see anything on the looms. They looked empty to him. The tricksters, while pointing to the empty looms, asked the minister whether he liked the design and the colors. The poor old minister looked, but he could not discover anything on the looms. What? He thought to himself. Is it possible that I am a simpleton? I have never thought so. And I cannot let anyone know if I am. So, I'll just pretend that I can see the fabric. Then, he listened very closely as the imposters named the different colors and described the pattern of the imaginary fabric. Then, he went to the emperor and repeated the same. On hearing this, the emperor was very happy, for the suit sounded wonderful. The whole empire was talking about the emperor's suit and were afraid if they could not see it. Now, it was time for the emperor himself to see the suit, which had cost him a lot of money. He went to the weaver's room with a few of the officers of the court. When he looked at the empty looms, an officer asked him, Isn't this suit absolutely wonderful? How can I not see the suit? thought the emperor to himself. Am I a simpleton or am I unfit to be the emperor? That would be horrible. I love what you have done with fabric. The suit is absolutely fabulous, said the emperor to the weavers. He also pretended to see the suit so that no one would know that he was a simpleton or unfit to be the emperor. The officers advised the emperor to wear the suit for the upcoming festival and the emperor agreed. On the day of the parade, the emperor came to the weavers. One of the tricksters held his arms up as if he was carrying a jacket and said, Your Majesty, here is your jacket. Please try it on. The other pretended to be holding something as well and said, Your Majesty, here are your trousers. Please try them on. The emperor took off his silk suit and tried to put on the invisible one. Finally, the emperor walked out of the palace and led the parade to the city. All the people looking on cried out, 
Oh, how beautiful are our emperor's new clothes! No one would admit that they could not see the emperor's clothes. But the emperor has nothing on at all, said a little child. Listen to the voice of an innocent child, exclaimed the child's father. Soon all the people cried out, The emperor has nothing on at all. The emperor got very upset because he knew that the people were right. He continued to walk in the procession until he reached back to his palace. Long, long ago, there lived a beautiful princess who had a golden ball. One day, as she was playing in the garden, the ball fell into a pond. She was very upset and did not know what to do. At the same time, as she sat there crying helplessly, a frog hopped out of the pond and asked, Why are you crying, little princess? She told him about her golden ball. The ugly frog said, I can help you get your ball, but what will you give me in return? I will give you anything you want, promised the princess. The frog immediately dived into the water and fetched the ball for her. The princess was very happy. The frog reminded her, Remember that you promised me anything. Well, I want to be your friend. Eat from your plate and sleep in your palace. The princess hated the idea, but she agreed and ran back to the palace. The next morning, the princess found the frog waiting for her. The ugly frog said, I have come to live in your palace. Hearing this, the princess ran to her father, crying. When the kind king heard about the promise, he told her, a promise is a promise and you must keep your word. You must let the frog stay here. The princess was very angry but she had no choice and let the dirty frog stay. He ate from her plate during dinner and asked the princess to take him to her bed at night. The princess picked him up angrily and threw him to the floor. In a flash, the frog turned into a handsome prince. He told the princess that he had actually been under the spell of a wicked witch. The princess fell in love with the prince. They were married and lived happily ever after. Happy birthday to you, our dear friend. We will all sing for you as you cut the birthday cake and celebrate your happy day. Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday Happy birthday Happy birthday to you From old friends and new From good friends and true May good 